fact, I spent my childhood with more adults than I did with kids. Right. I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life. I went out into the world and I saw what people, you know, how people feel about my parents. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. I didn't understand. When I was young, I definitely think I had a sex addiction <laughs> of some kind. Jada Pinkett Smith and her son Jaden Smith have always been open about their unconventional relationship, but there's one revelation that shocked even their fans. According to recent reports, Jaden confronted his mother about having an affair with his friend, August Alsina. While Jada doesn't feel responsible for the whole fiasco, Jaden's bold move sparked a heated discussion about boundaries, loyalty, and parental responsibility. Stay tuned as we uncover more about this controversial family drama. Can you imagine being in Jaden's shoes? Finding out that your mom slept with one of your friends must be incredibly difficult to deal with. It is truly a disaster. Talking about Jada and August's famous entanglement, August had talked to Angela Yee of The Breakfast Club in an interview where he was asked about his relationship with Jada. The pair met in 2015 and became good friends, with August Alsina even joining the Smiths on vacation and accompanying Jada to the 2017 Bet Awards. But their closeness prompted fling speculation, especially due to long-standing rumors that the Smiths have an open marriage. The two have always described their relationship as strictly platonic, but August Alsina alleged to Yee that it was actually more than that. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation. Alcina continued, and I really loved a person. I experienced that and I know what that feels like, and some people never get that in this lifetime. I know that I am completely blessed and this conversation is difficult because it is so much that it would be hard for people to understand, but once it starts to affect me and my livelihood, I have to speak up about my truth. During the interview, he asked, is it disappointing that she never addressed it to you? Because like you said, you lost out on opportunities. I really can't even get into the thought of that because I am only responsible for myself, right? Alcina responded, and I am only responsible for, you know, what I do. When I am repressing and suppressing things, it starts to affect me. I have to address it. I just always stay solid because I never want to be the person to start confusion. During the interview, Alcina also revealed, and I also don't think that it is ever important for people to know what I do, who I sleep with, who I date. But in this instance, it is very different because as I said, there are so many people that are side-eyeing me, looking at me questionable. I have lost money, friendships, relationships behind it, and I think it is because people don't necessarily know the truth. But I have never done anything wrong. Going on, the No Love singer continued, referencing interviews such as one in a July 2018 interview where Smith said he and Jada no longer view themselves married but as life partners. He gave me his blessing, and I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life. Well, the Hitch actor didn't take the news quite well but also didn't bother to address the claims directly. But his purported representative told the Daily Mail that August Alcina's story is wrong. On the other hand, Jada also didn't directly comment on the accusations but suggested on Twitter that there's some healing that needs to happen so I'm bringing myself to the red table. In 2020, Jada admitted to having an affair with August and even had husband Will Smith on her talk show Red Table Talk to discuss it in front of the world. You and I will go on through very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was curve. done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. After Jada's confession, Will admitted, I was done with you. While Jada added that they decided to separate for a period of time. And then what did you do? Jada, Will asked, urging his wife to keep talking. As time went on, I got into a different type of entanglement with August, Jada explained. But Will goes on to tell about the exact meaning of Jada entanglement with August. Ride together, we, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage for life. life. <laughs> well, after all this entanglement drama, according to Will and Jada, they are as strong as ever, claiming. And now, it looks like the Hollywood superstar Will Smith is finally opening up about his relationship with partner Jada Pinkett Smith. While promoting his memoir, Will, the actor told GQ that he and Jada have had an open marriage, where they have engaged in sexual relationships with other people outside the two of them. Smith further goes on to say, We have given each other trust and freedom, with the belief that everybody has to find their own way. And marriage for us can't be a prison. And I don't suggest our road for anybody. I don't suggest this road for anybody. But the experiences that the freedoms that we've given one another and the unconditional support, to me, is the highest definition of love. It's also been reported that August is set to write a tell-all book that will go into detail over their SX life. The Sun reported that a source said, August is getting ready to sign a big money book deal which will detail his romantic liaisons with Jada. He has always maintained that will gave him permission to sleep with Jada, something they have publicly denied. August will go into detail about his time with Jada and will also speak about how he spent time living in homes owned by Will when he was away 
filming. Their source further added, well, Jada didn't just cheat on Will with Jaden's friend but also didn't forget about her long-lost love. Will Smith expressed his raging jealousy that he had towards Jada's connection with late Tupac Shakur. Uh, were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, yeah. Will goes on to share that he felt an odd happiness when his and Jada's relationship began to progress as she'd spent less time with Tupac, which he called a twisted kind of victory. Well, if you don't know, Jada and Tupac shared an exceptionally close friendship. The two attended the Baltimore School for the Arts together and quickly became inseparable after connecting over their shared passion for theatrical arts. Despite years of speculation around whether or not there was more to their friendship, both Jada and Tupac confirmed that things between them were platonic. I really did believe that he was going to be here for a long time. We can see the love that Jada has for Pac. She even tweeted her old picture with Tupac with a caption, I miss him. Well, we can speculate that she did love Tupac more than her husband as Smith did feel insecure about his relationship. Not to forget the Oscars 2022 which was like no other, where actor Will Smith slapping Chris Rock for a joke made at the expense of the former's wife has taken the internet by storm, leaving people divided over the right and wrong sides of the incident. Jada Pinkett Smith, who suffers from alopecia which is an autoimmune disease that affects one's hair growth, sported a bald look for the award ceremony. Chris joke about Jada starring in G.I. Jane 2 due to her shaved look has been panned as hollow and insensitive. Will throwing a punch and standing up for his wife, although he was allegedly enjoying the joke until he saw Jada roll her eyes, has also been criticized. In the midst of this raging Will, Chris Slapgate saga, people have still found a way to blame the woman, Jada, for the whole issue. Later, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air had already apologized to the comedian for his actions, but Chris didn't react to the apology at all. Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable, and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Well, Chris Rock has finally responded to the Oscar slap after an incredibly dignified silence. She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? Okay? And by the way, he does that shit. Everybody in the world called him a According to Chris, Jada was the root cause for the whole Oscars fiasco, and she didn't really deserve him after cheating on him with her son's best friend. Wilson and his wife was her son's friend. Okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this but for some reason these niggas put that shit on the internet. An entanglement? Yes. Chris claims clearly said that Jada ruined Will. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that low down. What the that We all been cheated on. Everybody in here been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. None of us. They're like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's. How did that make you feel? After Chris's special, Jaden has again shown support for his dad. He posted a gif of Martin Lawrence sarcastically laughing, which people assume is his response to Chris's repeated disrespect. Jaden does not find it funny that his family has once again become the butt of Chris's jokes, and honestly, we can't blame him. Despite the discomfort the Californian native has endured thanks to his parents' candidness, at this point he is used to having his personal life on display and criticized at times, the insider tells us. Not only that, Jaguar Wright also claimed that Will and Jaden's kids Willow and Jaden must have witnessed all kinds of crazy stuff in their house, which is probably why Jaden wanted to emancipate himself when he was just 16. Well, Jaden's kind of MIA, and considering that he emancipated, from their household at 16 and refused to come back even to do family interviews. Fans are also calling out Jada for ruining Will and Jaden's life. One of them tweeted, I don't blame Will Smith for Jaden or Willow. I blame Jada. I heard just the two of us. Will was a good dude, man. Another added, I blame Jada for Jaden. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.